Uh, what's up? My name is DJ Dan. I'm here with my good friend Uberzone. Um, I have a tendency to like to sample, so this was a big challenge for me. Like the vocoder, what we did is we use a combination of the IOSIS vocoder for some of the top stuff. And I have an old Roland VP330 back there. And you can do all your EQing and effects, whether it's compression or flanging or any, any type of effect you desire. And then split it left and right and high pass it a lot. So put that around the Moog and it gives it a little bit of a nice bite on the top end and a lot of stereo imaging. When we did the bass track of it, it was pretty straightforward, it was pretty simple. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it almost sounded exactly like the original. To start with is their vocal because it's just, they just, they hit this level of, of talk box wizardry that nobody really can match. If I'm to compare it to something, you know, like a Crooker's track, you know, it's just, it doesn't have that same bottom end. The input on it, and I have it set at minus 0.1, and I do that because when they designed the inflator, the, the input channel is supposed to sort of emulate the headroom of an analog uh, mixing desk. I get connected to a freaky zone. Said it's kind of a the Prince kind of high part and regular go, voice. Join the party, go home. And, and we pretty much used the rises in place of the drum fills. We didn't really focus on, because we did talk about doing that. Um, and I know he pulled up a couple sounds to do drum fills, but this track just doesn't really need it.